What's up? A little off center there, you know. Here we go. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is going to be my little question and answer segment and just kind of touch touch on the past project and stuff like that. I want to try and make this quick so I don't have to do a lot of editing because it's kind of late. A couple people asked uh, what kind of wood burning tool do I like to use. Well, let me show you. I gotta walk over here. I'm back. Yeah. Missed me, didn't you? Yeah, I know you did. Okay, uh, I actually got this uh, wood burning tool idea from Jay Bates because he actually used it on his channel. Uh, to make uh, the, oh, I don't know if it was a laundry hamper or a, I think it was a dog food holder because it had that dog paw that he actually burned with the wood burning tool on it. It's a big old paw too. And this uh, tool is a Weller, it just says Weller wood burning tool, I guess. It's bright orange. And the cool part was I, I found it on Amazon underneath Jay Bates' uh, woodworking store on his website. So go there and you'll find it. And he'll also get a little kickback from it too. So help support some free woodworking. Uh, but it also comes with a lot of tip attachments. And I mean a lot. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And some razor blades and a little nifty stand. And I mean, it's like a 12, 13 piece uh, wood burning kit. It's actually pretty nice. I've read a lot of reviews on wood burning tools and I don't know, I kind of settled on that one. I really like it and it works really well as you can see on my uh, prior projects uh, to burn anything. Somebody had asked, asked me on Lumberjocks, uh, Roger asked me about my dust collector. He uh, asked if this remote that was sitting on my table saw, if it has to do with my dust collector. And it does. This did not come with my dust collector. It is just a simple cheap uh, little clicker that I got from Lowe's that operates a uh, two outlet box and I just plug my dust collector up into it turn on the dust collector all the time while the clicker is off and I can keep the remote by my table saw and whenever I want my dust collection I just works real well uh, so don't don't spend a lot of money on a, a remote control you can get one at Lowe's that can handle the job so uh, I highly recommend that if you're especially on a budget my table saw. Uh, this actually wasn't a question that was posed necessarily to me. I actually responded to uh, Eric Lindbergh about uh, a question he posed about how to care for his table saw and uh, I gave him my regimen on what I do. So for those of you that are interested, this is what I do. <laughs> no, really. I'll show you what I do. Obviously, the vacuum was a spoof. But, okay, no, really. This is what I really do to keep maintenance on my saw. And sadly, I haven't had really a whole lot of time to do this. I mean, preventative maintenance is just something that you have to do on a normal basis if you want to keep your equipment running smooth. So, uh, in order to keep the table saw surface slick, as well as the underneath side of my jigs slick, so they slide really nice on the tabletop, is I... Uh, use a combination of my random orbit sander and if you have those green scotch bright pads they work great for these hook and loop uh, velcro orbit sanders you can just lay the pad on the table put the sander right on top of the pad and just take all that surface rust off now if it's a lot not a lot of rust since i don't have a pad with me you can take some 4 aught steel wool and put that on the sander. You might have to unroll it a little bit. Now these things will tear up pretty fast, so uh, if you want to use it for a long period of time, I really don't recommend using this. I recommend the Scotch-Brite pad. Um, but that can take off all your surface rust. Once that's done, make sure it's nice and clean. Just blow it off with an air compressor. Take you some uh, paste wax. I use Johnson's paste wax, but you can also use Minwax. Uh, put it on a rag and just smear it around like you're buffing your car with wax. Uh, let it dry to kind of a haze and buff it out really nice. I usually put about three coats on my table saw every time I do it and I do the same thing on my jigs. When you get all of that done and, and you can even put it on this white tabletop like I've got on my table saw and it'll make it extra slick. I also put it on my fence uh, sides. Um, uh, do it on your runners as well. That's That really helps. Uh, but that's pretty much how I clean my table saw. As far as the inside goes, since it's all enclosed now, 
um, I just turn on my dust collector with my air compressor and just blow the crap out of the inside of there and it gets all sucked up. Just basic stuff like that keeps your table saw running really smooth. Remember, if there is a question that you want to submit to me, you can email it to me at rhwoodshop.com. And, uh, wait a minute, no, R8, okay, let me try that again. You can email me at rhwoodshop at gmail.com. Be sure in the subject line to put hashtag askrh. That way, whenever I go into my email to search, I can easily find all of those. And I will be happy to answer any questions that you have regarding my projects, my shop, anything. Uh, it's gonna be just a free-for-all QA. Uh, personal questions, I don't care, and I might not answer all of them. Just fair warning you. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed it this week, and uh, hopefully this weekend, time permitting, I'll be able to get another project out to you. So I'll take, uh, take my leave now, and you guys have a great night, and uh, hopefully a great weekend. Talk to you later.